Today is 83 year old Bill Cosby's first full day as a free man in Pennsylvania. He spent almost three years in prison. Cosby's sexual assault conviction was reversed by the state's highest court yesterday after an appeal. The justice's ruling was triggered by a verbal agreement Cosby's attorney made with a former prosecutor. The prosecutor agreed Cosby could not be criminally charged if he would testify in a 2005 lawsuit against him. Tonight, Cosby continues his claims of innocence even after being found guilty of drugging and sexually assaulting a woman in the 2018 retrial. And nobody had the sense to say, wait one second, this doesn't match up with the truth. This is not what I was taught in college. This is not what I was taught at home, et cetera, et cetera. Some people are celebrating Cosby's release, but others say it's disappointing and could discourage those seeking justice for sexual assault cases. News 3's Madeline Parker joins us live in studio with more on that. Good evening, Madeline. Good evening, Julie. Experts say Cosby's overturned conviction is discouraging to sexual assault survivors. Since convictions in these cases are already very rare, this chart right here shows that two thirds of all sexual assaults go unreported. And the U.S. Department of Justice found that for every 1,000 sexual assaults, only six result in those accused going to prison. There is concern among professionals who help sexual assault survivors that the national attention surrounding the overturned conviction will change the narrative of Cosby's trial. Aaron Frey from the Women's Center says Cosby being freed is not about innocence, but that the trial was mishandled by the prosecutor. Frey also says high-profile cases such as Cosby's can weigh on survivors. It's very discouraging for survivors to see um, these well-named people in the media um, go through the entire process and then, oh wow, they finally got convicted. That's such a victory, only for a couple years later for it to get overturned. Cosby served nearly three years of his 10-year sentence. While the numbers look discouraging, tonight there are still resources out there for those who have gone through sexual assault. You can find them on this story on our website, WSILTV.com. Live in studio, Madeline Parker, News 3.